Whoop, it is day, I don't even know what day it is, day 21, Vlogmas day 21, I'm going to try and vlog every day of these last three days to Vlogmas, because I know I didn't vlog every day like I should have, it's just a lot of work when you have two kids and jobs to do and other things going on, it's, it's a lot, it's uh, to stay up till 2 in the morning, editing, get footage, you know. You know, holding my phone is obviously an issue for me because I just sent you guys flying. And now I'm trying to put it back together and it's just not going the way I want it to. Okay, there we go. Anyway, yeah, so, and honestly, my life isn't all that interesting all the time. There's, like, interesting moments, but every day, it's mostly, like, a constant sea of cleaning and organizing. Our elf had a sugar night. He fell in the cup. He fell in the cup after he was yeah, eating he candy canes yeah. and drinking yeah. cookies? Yeah. Our elf is sugar high. Jake, you are a naughty elf this year. I think it's my kids have been exceptionally naughty. So we're feeding breakfast to the kiddios. Paxton's having waffles and blueberry yogurt. No Christmas. Oh, is it Christmas on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Oh, look, Recycle Mountain is finally getting cleaned up. We literally store all of our recycling under there, and then, like, once a week it's supposed to go out. But I don't do recycling or garbage. It's just something I don't do. I refuse. So if Marcel forgets, which he does often. So anyway, um, yeah, Marcel forgets often. That's just his nature. He's a forgetful person. And so it kind of sits sometimes for two or three weeks. I mean, it's just recycling. It's not the end of the world. But when you have recycling mounded up, it, uh, it, we call, I call it Recycle Mountain because that's what it looks like to me. It's just like a huge mountain of recycling. I'm just switching over containers because I picked up the kids some, like, fruit snacks in the States. And they have been going through them like mad. So I'm putting them up in the cupboard so that they can't access them. There are certain treats that they will just gravitate towards, and fruit snacks are obviously one of them. It's not the end of the world if your children are obsessed with fruit snacks. Just saying. But I would prefer they have less fruit snacks and... Well, I just like stuff to last, basically, is what it comes down to. I'm not worried about them intaking too much sugar, because actually they, I, I think they need to eat more sugar, but so this is my treat bin. This is where I keep normally the boy snacks, and this one was full of boy snacks as well. So all I did was put my Atkins stuff in here, the boy snacks in here, and, this one she's out. and then in here I normally put like little baggies of cracker and stuff that Paxson can access if he's hungry, because he can't reach up into this cupboard to get stuff. And then these are actually Atkins Street Bars. I'm not sure how they ended up in there. They are supposed to go in here with all of my Atkins Street stuff. This is my treat bin. It's where I like when I'm craving or having a really bad day. This is where I'm supposed to reach. And now that Atkins has come out with some new treats again, which I'm really excited about, they came out with these, which are milk chocolate caramel squares. They're literally like an, uh, a Rolo. They're like a big square Rolo. They're so good. And these, which are my favorite, pecan caramel clusters. They're basically like a turtle. And there's two in that. So I find that once I have good tasting Atkins snacks in the house, I tend to eat less of the garbage because I have my own type of chocolate. And so for me, it's more like fixing a sweet tooth more than it's like, oh, I need that cookie. So if, if I have healthier options in the house, things that I can eat, I will gravitate towards them before I gravitate towards other things. Okay, I'm going to start making up some snack bags for the kids because that bin is completely empty. So it is a football Sunday and the Patriots are on. I'm going to change my hand here. The Patriots are on already. There they are. They are not playing very well already, which is making me very worried considering that we're playing the Jets and this should have been a very, very easy game for us. So my breakfast is here. That's the good thing about having Marcella's off on vacation now for 10 days, which is great because Marcella's a professional chef. So look at this. Steak and eggs for breakfast. What are you doing? Apple juice. You're drinking apple juice? Hi, guys. There's Logan. He's finally awake. He's waiting for his breakfast. And then tonight I'm going to roller derby in the States with Fist, and we're leaving really early because it's a late game at 8, 8.30 or 8.40 or something, but it's a two and a half hour drive, so we're leaving at like 5. Oh, so this is happening Chase. in our house. They are playing. <laughs> Paxton, where's your mat? They are playing a, um, a team game. It's great to teach children like boundaries. We've got them kind of on a Christmas mat, and we're just teaching them if he wants to play, he's going to stand on his mat. On your mat, bug. Kick, kick, 
kick, kick, kick. Jump. Oh, he just hit it with his head. That's hilarious. Oh. Seriously? So I am at the coolest place in the world. I am at this man's house. Fist Manor. Fist Manor. <laughs> we are at Fist Manor is in the process of reconstruction. It's being moved to uh, Vancouver. But this is currently what Fist Manor looks like. It's so bad. But this is why this is why I turned you guys on. So Fist walks into the kitchen and he goes, So uh, you want some spice? And I'm immediately thinking okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a, immediately thinking the drug. Problem. I have a spice problem. <laughs> and then he says this. I don't know what I have at home, so I go, oh, recipe, I need paprika. This is why I have, like, four bags of paprika. What's a paprika? No. <laughs> Full. One teaspoon out. There's another bag, one teaspoon out. What is wrong with you? More paprika. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I got basil, like, three bags of thyme. Like... Since I've walked in the door, I've acquired a juicer, juicer. a food processor. Yeah. He tried to get me a toaster oven, and I said no. And now he's trying to sell me spice, and not the drug, like, actual spice. Oh, a rice cooker. A rice cooker. Ooh, put a mixer. <laughs> it works. He goes into Richmond to find things. Okay, look at this. He bought these for his brother's dog, but they're for like chairs. Who creates this crap? Like, really, why do your chairs need fancy legs? I don't understand. This is the best thing I've ever seen. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a shampoo hat. I guess it's so you don't get shampoo in your eye. Yeah, it is. It says you don't cry. Shampoo, shampoo won't, won't get, get in the eye. eyes. Enable shampooing without getting face wet. So, not even just shampoo, like, it won't get wet. And he got it in pink. I don't know. Did they not have the green the day you went? Do you notice how it says three plus, four kids? Three plus. Four kids. <laughs> this is just a kid. This is already wrapped, but it's a ball of sweat. Yeah, that would have been cool. This is oh, green you tea. You now you're going to rewrap it. This is green tea um, Kit Kat, which we've seen on YouTube before. But look at this. Bakari sweat. This is just sweat. It's a bottle of sweat. I have no idea what you would even I do. I have a supply drink. It's an island supply drink. No, it's just sweat. It's got what plants crave. <laughs> Your brother's a plant? <laughs> now you have to rewrap that. Yeah, I know. He's really mean. Only Fist is the only grown man I know that, look at this, as I come to the corner, watch this. This whole box is Halloween costumes. And literally one day, he spent how many minutes? Like 15 minutes putting on different masks, taking photos, and texting them to me. Yeah. No purpose. Just cuz. Yeah. That was the purpose. That was the purpose. <laughs> So we are headed to the um, United States, hence why I'm wearing my Patriot hat. No, that's a lie. I always wear my Patriot hat. Um, we're going to the United States. Fist is scrimmaging. I'm watching and cheering. What is that? It's my fist. What is this? What is this? What are you putting this thing? Hands. It's a fist. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Work. You have issues. Fist has issues. Let me bring this to her place. It's girlfriend. <laughs> why not? That is I know, it's awesome. It's like a beer can holder. My grandma got it for me. That's sweet. Does it work? Can you actually like put drinks in oh, it and not yeah. spill all over yourself? And you can drink it without spilling. That's sweet. <laughs> I love how you're like, cat's not going to let me bring this. I don't think so. So as I'm talking about the table and the random shit on the table, do you guys see what I see? Literally. Do you see what I see? So Fist says to me, they're monster condoms for my Magnum oh, Dog. Look, I dropped my monster condom for my Magnum Dog. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to like convince myself that he doesn't need these, but then I think to myself, why would they be in his house if he doesn't need them? And I just feel dirty touching them. I'm like that kind of girl where it's like, why? I just keep them in my wallet so women see them. <laughs> and then you drop yeah. them like in that commercial. And then I swap them for the, you know, the extra small. The extra small. Asian bit small. <laughs> Um, well, I don't understand is why they're on your table. Because well, I bought them. With your Quest bars. No, that's just change. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Fist is very proud of himself. For anyone who lives in Canada, you know what this is. If you don't live in Canada, Safeway is an American store that, um, that they're doing like this sticker for knife thing. So if you get enough stickers, you get knives for free. Oh, so Fist has been saving. Is... No, this dude in Safeway. He was like, I'm almost there. I need three more stamps. I get the whole set. It's going to be great. And the cash is like, no, you need to get like 10 of these to get the whole set. He was looking at the cry. Aww. He was distraught. Yeah, it's a little confusing if you don't read like the actual pamphlet because it shows you like this is, this one requires free with 150 stamps. So Fizz is trying to get this one, uh, 150 stamps. So he's all proud of himself because he's almost there, you guys. He's got like five more, two, three, four, five, six more. And I messaged him the other day because I've got two of these filled. 
because I have children to feed and my kids eat like horses. Two thirds of that is steak. Yeah, two thirds of this is bought with steak. You save with a larger knife. You think so? Yeah. I think I can cut off larger digits with a larger knife. Look, this is a good knife. Oh god. This is pulling out knives. I'm concerned. It's my global knife. Eight inch chef knives. What is that? I use this for everything. What is it? It's a eight inch global chef knife. So why aren't you getting a chef knife from this set? Because I have a chef's knife. But it's got a little nick in it. Yeah, I can fix that. How did you get no, a No, that's just crap on it. Oh. I'm like, how did you get a nick in the knife? Put on this hat, and I was like, please tell me you're not wearing that hat. But then he showed me that the inside has a story, and I want to read it to you guys. It says, your hat is crafted from recyclable tarps of Brazilian cargo trucks in the attempt to cut down on wasting of resources. Most likely, the fabric in your hat has traveled from the Amazon to San Paulo and back again. So don't take care of this hat. It will take care of you. There's nothing you can do to this hat that hasn't been done before. So go ahead, take on the worst, and do it with the smug satisfaction of knowing your hat is the real deal. Real deal Brazil, Brazil com. Real deal Brazil. You guys should check these out. This is actually a pretty sweet hat. It doesn't look super sweet, but it's got a story. They're like 20 bucks, too. I like things with stories, and it's like 20 bucks, and I guess it goes to charity, Fist was saying. Yeah. So go check it out. Real deal Brazil com. Nice, but you're hawking at me out way. I'm the son of a fourth generation farmer. <laughs> Been married ten years to the farmer's daughter. <laughs> I like a piece of grass in my mouth. You do? Same and that has... I'm a lifetime sponsor of the FFA. Hey! That's what I say. Make a lot of hay for a little pay. Hey, I'm thumbs up this video say. if you like this country voice. <laughs> Mine driver, hauling up the road in my p -p 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 plower, <laughs> chug a lug a lug in five miles an hour, in my international harvester. <laughs> Somebody explain to me and Fist what this gentleman is doing, because we have no idea. Oh, he's back up. He's upright again. He was literally like sitting down in that position for a good long time. Muffler. <laughs> and it's not intentional, that's just a piece of shit muffler. We are we are currently headed to a Mexican restaurant. The lighting isn't great, but you guys are just gonna have to get over that. Sorry. This is this is the studio lighting that Fist has in his car, so this is the studio lighting that you will enjoy. It's kind of like a red light district light. Oh! Yours is way brighter than mine. Mine is like Disco party! People think we're fucking crazy. Uh, it's actually red light districting me right now. Is it red light districting? Oh look, your red light district. That's My good lighting. Jersey. That looks good on you. It slims your face. And random orb that's currently in your ear and on your hair. Oh, in your eye. In his mouth. Fist put it in his mouth. You're going to get a fist in the mouth. <laughs> I'm going to get a fist in the mouth. Fists in this kind of fist. Not fists in this kind of fist. Because his girlfriend might have an issue with that. And I haven't met Kat yet. So of course she not hate me off the bat. Because I really like, want to like this girl. We're going to a Mexican place called what? El Gitanos. El Gitanos. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it in Mexican. It's supposed to look, it looks really bad, according to Fist, like, decor. It's got crap on the wall. There's like a painting of, like, a bed. Ugh. I don't understand. But, but it doesn't have roaches. No. No roaches. Like, decor on, like, a scale of 1 to 10. It's like an. It's like a Mexican Applebee's. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited now. I've been to Chihuahuas, and I've been to the one next to Hagen's of Blaine on that strip there, and that's really good food. Chihuahuas, my mom used to like rave about it until I took her to the one on Hagen's, and then she was like, actually, it's not that good. It's, this place is way better. So we'll see what I think of this place. Next time we come down, we'll have to go to the one on Hagen's of Blaine, and Fist will have to think what he thinks of that place. The one on Hagen's of Blaine is like, the plates look disgusting. They come with like sauce and cheese everywhere, but the second you put it in your mouth, it is the most amazing tasting thing ever. They have honestly. plates here. No, like I mean when they serve the plate to you when all the food is on the plate It looks like a mashup mess. It's like cheese and sauce everywhere. It does not look appealing But then you put it in your mouth and you're like oh, Angels of Mexico are singing <laughs> In your mouth In your mouth the angels of Mexico are singing in your mouth It's okay. This is not as bad. Oh my god. There's an Applebee's right there yeah. There's an Applebee's there and this is the Mexican Applebee's so if you're lost find the Applebee's and the Kmart Big Kmart. Oh, big Kmart I have not seen, Fist was joking about this earlier because I was telling him I needed to make a stop somewhere. And he's like, oh, there's a Kmart because it's the 90s still. We don't have Kmart in Canada anymore. And I didn't know that, that America still had Kmart. They probably have a fucking Zellers. Oh, a Zellers. No, Zellers was always Canadian. It was like the Canadian yeah, version of a Kmart. What? Ooh, Mexican restaurant. This looks like a pretty cool. There's mariachis too on like Saturdays. There's a mariachi band, but not today because it's Sunday. Whoa, this guy's stopping at Goodwill. Goodwill. I've never been to a Goodwill store either. We don't have those in Canada. It's for stores. Not Goodwill. No. We have Value Village. <laughs> Value 
Yeah, that's not even a thrift store. That's freaking owned by Walmart. Is it really? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Value Village is owned by the Wally Mart. All right, this is what it looks like. See? I don't know how to say that in Mexican, but this is where we're headed. This is where we're eating dinner. Okay, so Fizz and I, nobody makes that face, are on our date. This is our, our friend date. This is the painting on the wall next to us. And if that isn't enough, this is the tile that is embedded into the table. This one's onions. Carrot. Over there we got some carrots. Beans. We got tomatoes. What do you got over there? Beans. Green beans. And you got magic beans. mushrooms. I have magic mushrooms on my side. We're having, um, what is this? Chips? Chipsies? And this is like some really good salsa actually. It's quite like not super chunky, but it's not, and it's got like a really nice kick to it that I'm enjoying. Fist is drinking. What are you drinking? Fresa limonada. In English, that's strawberry lemonade. And what did you order again? Huh? Oh, what did you order? Richetta. Which is? It's like a fajita mix. It's got steak and mushrooms and bacon, jack cheddar, all the good stuff. I ordered, what did I order? Carne asada. <laughs> I know it is, thank you. I ordered carne asada. How do you say it? Not very good. How do you say it? Carne asada. Anyway, that's what I ordered. I hope it comes like in a big messy plate, because I want a messy plate. The best Mexican food comes on a messy plate. Always. You get like a plate of like stuff, and then you get your tortillas, and you get your stuff. It's like everyone wants to date Fist, but Fist doesn't want to date anybody. Except for Cat. You're she, lucky, Cat. She is my girlfriend. She, that's the only reason why he wants to date her. Poor Cat. I don't know what the hell she was thinking. <laughs> he was the best option at the time. <laughs> Did you guys see that? This. <laughs> And he eats it. <laughs> it hit my forehead, and then his forehead, and then he eat. Was it good? With all the human sweat. And How did you get that sweaty coming down here just driving? <laughs> you don't know what I was doing in the car. Yeah, I do. I was right beside you. That doesn't mean he knows. I could be wearing those vibrating panties. Oh, those are fun. Especially if someone else has a remote, and they get to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Dinner has arrived. Look at how good this looks. Mine looks better. Yours does look way better than mine. I should have gotten yours. Okay, there's his messy plate. And then he's got his tortillas. And this is my... Oh, rice. They sent you. This is my yummy. I don't know what the heck's in here. Oh, for what? Oh, to make my own, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. For the fajitas you ordered? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to eat this now. Okay, I'm going to eat this. This looks really good. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I watched Fist take his first bite and dump it all over himself. <laughs> How good is it? His is like bacon and steak. You guys like even see this nonsense? Look at those chunks of bacon. This is like I'll just beat this off the side. This is really good, hey? I'm really enjoying this. Look, it's red light district all over again. So we've been driving roughly two and a half hours. And we're just getting to the scrimmage, the scrimmage hut. Is it like a actual rink? No idea, never been there for. Oh, I'm like dark, dark now. Okay, here we go. Woo! I got light now. Um, and we're being told where to go by this voice that like magically appears, that never ever appears. Fist is not looking at his crotch, he's looking at the GPS. <laughs> Stop looking at your crotch, man! The internet is watching you stare at your magnum dong. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost there. It's going to be a really good scrimmage tonight. It's like boys on boys, and there's going to be like... And ladies. And ladies. But it's going to be like, when, boy, when it's boys on boys, they hit. Like, they play hard. You want to play hard? Your magnum dog? Shit, Aaron. With his fist. He's going to fist people. You didn't make a sign. You said you didn't. I could have taken any of the ones from the floor in your house. Why didn't you remind me? We should have. I could have brought signs down. One says... Fist all the players. Fist all the players? Yeah, keep, keep calm and fist on. Oh, keep calm and fist on. I would have wanted that one. <laughs> keep calm and fist on. Fist is actually like an extremely calm player, but an extremely like ruthless player. I'm excited if you guys actually see him scrimmage because the last time we went to a scrimmage, it wasn't really a scrimmage. So today you're going to actually see this boy like play. In 400 meters. Turn right. <laughs> She's interrupting my vlog. Thanks, Google. I don't know if I put that in the video. I'll get copyrighted. Her voice copyrighted. So I wonder. It's a generic robot. It's a generic robot. Anyway, so tonight you're going to actually see Fist play Derby, not just like goof off. And so I'm really kind of excited. We're hoping he's going to go flying because I really want to catch that on tape. Oh, wait, there's a Walgreens. There's makeup in there. <laughs> the girl in me is like, oh, Walgreens. No, no Walgreens. 
Okay, we're going in. Are we going in? Uh-huh. This is currently naked on the internet. I found out Mo Quadzilla is here. He is one of Derby's legendary skaters. And now these boys are switching to red. So I'm really excited to watch Chris get his ass kicked. So all the things that you only see at Christmas Derby's. Ben wearing tutus and Santa outfits. Here we go. Quadzilla and here's Johnny skating. And you're gonna see Quad do fancy quad type moves. Because he's that good. Oh, I still think Lyra is good. He's so good. And there he comes around. Oh my god, you guys. Birthday cake, m and Come on, Fist! Let's go! Points on the board, Fist! That's why he does. She, 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 he told me he shouldn't bring me. He doesn't listen. <laughs> Don't give up! You got this! Get the up! You got it, Fist! Push on! Woo! Nice job, Fist! Come on, Fist! You're right through him! Right through him! So he only got one 10 point jam, kind of sad, but he held quad pretty good. Now he's... I don't think you did. Yeah. Are you one. sure? One whole point? I did a hip around. You got one whole point? Yeah. He smells like ass, so now I have to ride home in a car with him. I smell like derby. I love how he keeps taking his clothes off for the internet. I don't want to ride in the car in this. So I bring t-shirts. You wore three today. No, this one down. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. No, no, this one down, then change this one, then back into this one. I don't know. You guys know this backdrop. This is my bed. I just finished taking off all my makeup, like quick makeup wipe. I'm exhausted. It was an amazing scrimmage. And then it was another two and a half hour car ride back home. So I'm going to bed. I don't know why this eye today is so droopy. And this eye is like so big. It looks really weird to me. Anyway, I'm going to bed and tomorrow we're almost at Christmas. Today's technically the 22nd. So we're like three more days to Christmas, guys. I'm really excited about Christmas. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.